Black holes are one of the most fascinating and mysterious phenomena in the universe. These are regions in space where the gravitational pull is so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape. At the center of every black hole lies a singularity, which is a point where the laws of physics as we know them break down. The singularity is a region of infinite density and zero volume. It is believed that the singularity is the source of intense gravitational pull that characterizes black holes. But why do black holes exist in the first place? Black holes exist because of the gravitational collapse of massive stars. Stars collapse when they run out of the fuel to sustain the nuclear fusion reactions that power them. These fusion reactions generate an outward pressure that counteracts the force of gravity which is trying to pull the star inward. When the fuel runs out, the outward pressure decreases, allowing gravity to take over and collapse the star. For the most massive stars, the collapse continues to a point where the entire star is compressed into a single point known as a singularity, forming a black hole. The most important part of a black hole is its event horizon, which is the boundary beyond which nothing can escape the black hole's gravitational pull. Another important feature is the accretion disk, which is a disk of matter that forms around a black hole as it pulls in nearby material. The accretion disk is a rotating disk of gas and dust that surrounds the black hole. As material from the disk get closer to the black hole, it heats up and emits radiation, making the black hole visible to telescopes. Black holes can be categorized by their mass and spin. There are three types of black holes. The first type is known as stellar black holes. These are formed from gravitational collapse of a massive star and have a mass that is 3 to 20 times greater than the Sun. The second type is intermediate black holes. These have mass that is between 20 to 100,000 times greater than the Sun and are believed to be formed from merging of several smaller black holes. The third type is supermassive black holes, which have a mass that is greater than 100,000 times greater than the Sun. They are found at the center of most galaxies, including one in our own Milky Way. But what happens if you were to fall into a black hole? If you were fell into a black hole, the gravitational pull would increase rapidly, leading to a process known as spaghettification. As you get closer to the singularity, the difference in gravity between your head and feet would become so great that your body would be stretched into long, thin strands like spaghetti. Death is inevitable. Black holes are not actually black. They emit radiation which can be detected by telescopes. In fact, this radiation is known as Hawking radiation, named after physicist Stephen Hawking. Black holes can also merge with other black holes to form even larger black holes. This process is known as a black hole merger and can release a huge amount of energy in the form of gravitational waves. In conclusion, black holes are mysterious and intriguing phenomena that continues to fascinate both scientists and the general public. Understanding black holes is crucial to our understanding of the universe and the laws of physics that govern it. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Now you can click on your right to check another piece like this or click left to learn various motion graphics techniques. Do consider subscribing to the channel for more motion graphics goodness and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye guys.